stop it. So if you've never been on my channel before, I've been saying this a lot in the past few videos, but I have a 2006 Pontiac GTO, blah, 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 where that video is not about this. But this is my newest purchase. This is a 2003 Ford Econoline Power Stroke van. If you're in the car community, you know that a truck and a trailer is somewhat kind of an essential thing, especially if you're gonna do track days or you have a show car or anything like that. If you are not a daily driver, like, easy going car then a truck and a trailer is somewhat of an essential thing so over the past winter i was on the search for a truck and coming to the realization that trucks are very very expensive a good diesel truck even with high mileage will be upwards of almost close to 10 grand or if not more if you guys have never seen haggard garage or i know that a bunch of people do this but they're the people that inspired me to do it I got a Econoline van. It's got a 7.3 power stroke in it. It's literally the same thing as a truck. It's an E350 instead of an F350. And if you've never seen people do it, they build out the interiors behind me, which you can see it goes on for about three miles. Um, we're gonna build it out and make it a camper. Today, we're gonna go to my father's house because he is the one with all the tools and I don't have anything. But we're gonna work on a custom roof rack for this van. We haven't started on the interior yet and that's gonna come really, really soon but we're gonna do a custom roof rack today. But yeah, we're gonna go try and finish and actually shape it up today. Now, if everything goes correctly, the roof rack will go from the edge of the van to the very back to about, right, probably in this area. And then we're gonna stop it and that'll be all the actual roof area where you can actually store stuff. But then in the front, we are going to box it in and that is where the solar panels will sit on in the near future. <laughs> We have measured out exactly what the measurements are on this rack so this is half inch above eight foot wide and half inch above five foot long or eight foot long five foot wide sorry i'm backwards now we squared this up and we made our little contraptions and we had two magnets to actually make this square but now we're trying to get it exactly perfect so then we can tack each corner and then start laying in the framework of it. my first time welding anything ever like I've never picked up a welder in my life so I'm pretty happy with my results I know they're not the prettiest but I'm okay with it for my very first time this one was the very first one I did but then you can see I 
got better. Since we've already got the mash on here, we tack the mash down and we put our bracing on the outside. Okay? So then you can run your braces one and two here on the inside, which will match up with this. We worked on it for about five and a half hours a day. It's coming along really nicely. We're still trying to decide on how we want to do the front end of it so we can put a light bar on the top of it and also the front end is going to be where the solar panels are gonna be. But the rack is actually coming along really, really nicely. And then we gotta build the box end on the front and the back and then we still have to build the ladder for it. But that's all we're gonna do for today and then we will continue this next time we're here. So this is our roof rack design. What I came here today to do was finish up the front and the rear of the roof rack. We already did the sides last time. You saw that in the clips just right before this. Um, but now I need to box in the front and the rear and that's all I'm gonna try to do today. I need to cut three or four more of these. They have to be nine inches. And then I gotta square them up, just tack weld them. Cut another one to go in between here and there. And yeah, let's get started. I'm pretty proud of this for my first time welding and doing anything like this. All right, so now I just gotta attack weld these two in and then we can do the exact, the exact same. I was gonna say the exact opposite, but just mirror this for the other side. But then that's all I wanted to do today. Go really good on top of your car. You think? Yeah. I want a two story. Two story house. On <laughs> top of the 86. Go through a drive through and look at the sign and say, I'm taller than that. <laughs> <laughs> In that little thing. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> Okay, 
Well, the box is completely squared in. Everything is tacked together. It's not completely welded, so I have to go through and just finally weld everything else. But then I still haven't decided. Me and Trevor were talking earlier. We don't know if we're gonna powder coat it or if I'm just gonna come back and just spray paint it because the metal is not rusted at all. It's all brand new. It's still freshly oiled and everything. So I don't know if a powder coat would be the best option. Of course, it'd be more expensive. It'd probably look better, but I'd also have the trouble of taking the rack to somewhere to have it powder coated when if I spray paint it, I could literally do it right here. So I don't know yet, but this rack is pretty much finished and that'll be the end of this video. In the next video, you'll see us either powder coating it powder coating it or spray painting it. But if you like this content, please leave a like, comment what you thought. I know my welding isn't the best, but for this being my first time ever welding anything, I'm pretty proud of it. Um, yeah, so please like the video if you enjoyed. Comment your favorite part. Subscribe if you like my content and you want to see more of the van build. And I'd very much appreciate it. Thank you.